Coming up this time on Mose and Miracle Episode 2, I get the chance to hunt an awesome sized dog tooth tuna on Matundo Canyon. Finally, we're out here in the beautiful blue ocean again. Today, we're going to try something a little unconventional, maybe a little different to what we would normally do in the, in the area of spearfishing cinematography. So, we want to try the very popular gun mount, which is probably the most popular way of uh, filming spearfishing these days, just because it's a lot easier. And let's be honest, all of us just want to get out there and shoot some fish. And uh, this is probably the easiest way to film that being done. Now there are many different ways to set up your gun mount on your gun. Some guys like to set it up at the back of the gun. This is really good with regards to recoil as the shot of the gun doesn't impact the footage as much. The downside of this technique is that the fish can often feel way too far away from you compared to what you actually saw down there. And also there's consistently a big gun in front of your screen which can block the line of sight of the fish and sometimes hide the fish from the camera. Then some guys like to put the gun mount right at the front of the gun near the muzzle. This is really good in that it brings the fish close to the camera and the visual effect is awesome. But in all honesty I'm a Spearow and I like to see a bit of spear gun in my shot just like this setup here. Well as always the Dial Factory team have been flat out in R&D and they've developed another super cool product for us. This is our new GoPro mount. It's designed to work at the front of the gun opposed to at the back. At the back it gives you a much wider vision, but here we get the camera closer to the fish. It gives you a better scene. The rubber doesn't hit the camera because the camera is now under the mount. And the mount is fully adjustable in two places. You can loosen it, turn it, lock it, or rotate it up and down. This enables you to still use the camera with the gun whilst the gun is loaded and not point the gun at your, your buddy. Well at last it's my chance to get in the water and do some hunting. I first jumped in with three different GoPro setups. A GoPro on the handheld mount, a GoPro on my head, but with the main focus of using the prototype gun mount that the Dial Factory guys gave me to run some testing on. The prototype worked really well but I can't wait to try the new model out. One shot on the handheld, one shot on the head mount, and another shot on the gun mount. Probably the first time it's ever been done was freaking awesome. After hunting for about an hour and shooting some super cool fish, we decided to move on out into the deeper water and search for them big doggies. I first jumped in with my Rob Allen 1-4 breakaway system. 
but then I decided to jump in later on with my 1-3 reel gun with a double band setup and my belt reel to back me up. I started diving the deeper ledges hoping to see those big doggies the guys had told me about that they find in this area. It couldn't have been five minutes and my dream fish came in. I took my time, placed my shot, and nailed it. Got a good head shot. These fish can strip you and totally trash your gear in seconds. Luckily I wounded the fish and he didn't put up too much of a fight. And it wasn't long and I landed a fish of a lifetime. I'd like to give a big shout out and thank you to all the guys listed on my right hand side over here. They've all joined the In The Zone TV Supporters Club. If you would like to help us bring more and better spearfishing vids to you, then please go to the link and sign up today. Coming up next time on Mose Miracle, I get completely outplayed with Chris Coates getting Patrice on a fish of a lifetime, a huge dog tooth tuna.